Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 3. Uh, I made my way to the beach area, ran around, found this bad guy. Yo, I'm an OWWW now, I'm just evil looking. Huh, you got a problem? Who do you think you're looking at? You want a piece of me? Yeah, I think he's a bad guy. Just going out on a limb here. Those Metroid things can be annoying. I think they were in the last game, or something similar to them. Can't really fight while I'm watch watching out for them. Watching out for them. Oh, that's gonna be really bad for us. If we do this at the very least, I can actually get some health back during this battle. Oh no, actually he's going to burn all my panels. What a punk. Wow, what a punk. I needed those panels. Gonna burn all my panels and I'm gonna be so furious. Yep, all my panels are gone. Okay. Actually, if I could actually land that, which is iffy, considering that I have trouble with it all the time. Nope. Oh, no grass panels for you either, punk. Nice. Okay, you may have been slightly stronger, but I still have defeated you. And I'm assuming maybe he's in the other beach area, because it didn't list a certain beach area. It just said beach area, and I've searched this entire beach area. So I'm going to go to the other area and look for the other Navi. So be back in a bit. I found someone that looks pretty shady over here. Hmm, who the heck are you? So you're looking for a WWW Navi? I know where a WWW Navi is. Closer than you think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's keep going. Oh, if we could take out that one guy in the front. He's a little bit of a pain in the butt, and I'd like to get rid of him before we actually fight anything else. No, I missed. I never miss. I could get something hurt here. Oh, there we go. Ow. Oh, who's it gonna hit? Who's it gonna hit? Yes, it hit the bunny! Suck it, bunny! Except I'm losing more health than I'm gaining because I'm trying to stand on these grass panels. Ooh, but this will work. I actually found that spice chip was pretty darn useful for getting rid of enemies like that. And I'm assuming there's going to be another one. Ah, oh, dang it, I gotta go around the loop again, don't I? I'm assuming there's gonna be another one in the lower area somewhere. So I'll go look there as well. I mean, out of all the people I've seen today, you look pretty shady as well. I'm in the WWW, la la la. Huh? Were you just laughing at my song just now? That was a song? <laughs> I'll teach you to laugh at the WWW. Come here, you. Come here, you punk. I'll beat you in the face. Okay, dang it. I, I hate that they keep pulling out that Metrid enemy because it keeps burning up all my panels. I have a feeling this pink one's going to be faster. Oh yes, that's right where I wanted it actually. Perfect.
And the last bad guy, we did it, Lan. Looks like the WWW is coming out in the open now. <laughs> Lan, you got mail for Mr. Match again. Makes him seem a little bit more suspicious, I'm just saying. It says, now the WWW has entered Scilab 1. The officials are having a hard time. My former WWW instinct tells me they must be up to something. Something evil. Hurry over here. What could the WWW be up to? Come on, Mega Man, we've got to get over to Scilab 1. Let's make this easy on ourselves. So, let's see, which one is Scilab 1? I forget again. Let's see. This is Scilab 2, so... I assume they're going to be in both the upper and lower areas, because that's really annoying and they like to do that a lot. Uh, these game developers, which means I can't just go to one area and get them all. I'll have to go this way and then I'll have to come all the way around and probably get them another way a bit. But you know what? That's okay. Yeah, that spice thing with the grass panels is actually kind of useful, I found. Not even gonna stand a chance. Well, actually, he might stand a little bit of a chance. No, no, no chance. Not even, not even tiny chance. What a, what a sucker. Now be in front of the monitor over there. Sure is scary. Better stay away from him and let sleeping dogs lie. Get it, sleeping dogs? Reference to video game from now times. I think it totally was. It's pro I bet, I bet that's where. I bet that's where they came up with their name, Sleeping Dogs, was they played Mega Man, and they, uh, yeah. Can I have some money for this, for figuring this out? Somebody? No? Okay. That's fine, I suppose. I still haven't played that game yet. Like, I've heard a lot of good things and a lot of bad things about it. Still want to play that game. Seems like fun. Double the lead! Haha, -ha, we found him. Okay, hello there. What is it, boy? You know I'm a WWW Navi, right? I'm pretty darn scary. Oh, you are darn scary. Hehe, <laughs> just looking at you makes me want to delete you. Here I come! <laughs> I'm literally quivering out of sheer terror. Let's see if this will actually fix the broken panels. I No, it doesn't. Okay, great. They're not actually that hard of enemies, those ones. They're just, you know, faster. Like anything else, you gotta be careful when it's faster. That was actually one of the easier battles we've fought so far. I'm only the tip of the iceberg! Why do you have a really epic exploding sequence that none of the other bad guys got? New assassins will be following me! Yay! Faster explosions. He was pretty tough. No, he wasn't. He was extremely easy. I wonder what the WWW was up to. Yeah, those attacks didn't seem well planned or really attacks at all. They just kind of seemed like they were loitering, which is like a very minor petty crime. Mega Man behind you! Gasp! How dare you delete my buddy! I assure you, the three of us combined won't fall so easily. In fact, in the condition you're in, you haven't got a chance. I've got full health, punk. Oh no! I can't believe it takes three of you to battle a little kid. The WWW just isn't what it used to be. Huh? Who's there? Since you ask, allow us to introduce ourselves. We're former WWW members. Mr. Match and Fla Flame Man. Fla Flam Man. Flaman. 
Mr. Match, the WWW boss that defected? You traitor! Hey, <laughs> a traitor? So what if I am? Burn them, flam, flayman, fla flayman, flaman, fire breath! Truthfully, this could just be him trying to confuse us and turn him over to our side, so then he'll kick us in the knees whenever we're not paying attention. Ah, I'm on fire! I'M BURNING! Yay! That was highly anticlimactic. Thanks for saving us. It's not like I could have dealt with it. I'm Mega Man. Nice to meet you. It looks like you're really on our side, Mr. Match. What? You still doubted me? Will you believe me now? Of course, your Navi is powerful to beat three enemies at once. Well, I am an expert customizer. It's all in the thermal power. Lan, let's go say thanks to Mr. Match in person. Jack me out. You don't have to thank me again. So long as we're friends, I'm happy. Well, I better get back to work. Lan, you've got more mail. What's this? It doesn't say who it's from. Come to ACDC Square immediately. I'm in front of the BBS. I wonder who sent this. It may have been sent by mistake, but we ought to go check just in case. It sounds urgent. Anonymous mail. It sounds a little shady, but let's go check it out. Why not? Got nothing better to do, right? Okay. I'll see you guys over at the ACDC Square. Okay, so I just got here and... Ooh, you look like a guy standing in front of the BBS. Are you the one who sent me that mail? Mega Man, I presume? Thank you for coming. I watched you at the N1 Grand Prix. You were most impressive. As I suspected, this Navi has amazing potential. <laughs> I expect he could even handle... Well, why did you call me here? Do you know an individual at the Scilab by the name of Matt? You mean Mr. Matt? Yes, you should be wary of him. He has a scent of danger about him. Scent of danger? That is all I have to tell you. I am sure that we will meet again in the near future. Farewell. That was incredibly cryptic, and I kind of already agreed with him. Hey, Lan, who is that guy? I have no idea. Whoever he was, he seemed far more suspicious than Mr. Match. Besides, Mr. Match has mended his ways. There's nothing to- nothing, nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. We've lost a lot of time. Come on, let's go to the hospital. Right. And... I'll see you guys over at the hospital. Hey, we're back. How are you doing? Oh, Lan, you came to see me. Hi, Mamoru. You're looking well. Yep, I've been feeling much better lately. The doctors told me that I'll be able to go home soon. Wow, that's great. It's all thanks to you, Lan. No way, you helped yourself, Mamoru. Hehe, <laughs> thanks, Lan. This is to say thanks for what you did for me. Oh, finally I get something! Lan, you saved my life! I can't net battle yet, but let's do it someday! Okay, now it's time to go home. We did... We, 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 we used too much energy today. We must go home now. Mamoru looked like he was doing really well. Yeah, at this rate, he can probably go home soon. We'll have to throw him a party! Like parties? Visiting a friend? Our hero is busy, I see. Mr. Match, why are you following me? Mr. Match, what are you doing here? I have a small favor to ask you. How did you know I was here? A favor to ask me? What is it? I was told to install a program in the Scilab system, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Can you help me? You were given this job to do, right? So shouldn't you do it by yourself? Hmm, some hero you are. The man who saves your life. Asks you to do a favor and that's how you answer? Do it yourself? I see you like being appreciated, but not appreciating others. Suck, suck it! I don't care, you're a bad person! Ooh. Okay, I'll do it. I'm not going to stand by and let you talk to me that way. I'll help you, but after this we're even. Heh <laughs> heh. I knew I could count on you, hero of ACDC. Oh, playing on land strengths, are you? I'll go make some preparations. Meet me in the virus lab. I'll be waiting. But it'll be past my bedtime! I get the feeling Mr. Match just played you. What? You expect him you expect me to let him get away with saying all that? Let's just hurry over to the virus lab and get this over with. I have a sinking feeling that he's trying to frame us. Just saying. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go run over there. See you guys in a bit. Virus lab time. Where are you? you? You're looking pretty evil in here. There you are, Lan. Well, let's get right to work. First, take this to the program in Scilab 1. Lan got fired. That sounds suspicious. That sounds incredibly suspicious. Okay, well, uh, yeah. I'll go find a program and we'll be back in a bit. I know there's a lot of start and go with this, but that's kind of what happens when you get fetch quests in this game. Especially if it's a place you've already been, there's no real reason to, like, do it again. So, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Oh, sweet, I found him. What? You're gonna install this data in me? Nobody told me about this. Why wasn't I informed? But if a Scilab person says I need it, I must need it. Alright, I'll take the data. The program loaded fire data into himself. Wow, what's this burning sensation? Is it just me or is it getting really hot in here? Woo! Doesn't sound evil at all. Alright, Mr. Match, we did we did your uh, your dirty work. Alright, I'm back. That's it, right? Thanks a lot, Lan. Now, for the lobby vending machine. What? Another one? We're almost done. Hurry up and finish, please. Uh... Okay. The lobby vending machine is next. We promised. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is sounding very suspicious to me. We're putting fire day. We're taking... We're going... We're taking the bad guy. We're taking his fancy creepy looking virus program things and we're loading it into programs. It sounds highly suspicious. Uh, no, I don't want to do gambling. You're a terrible man. Terrible man. Ah, I wonder if this data is... Oh, well, that's hot. It must be data for making hot drinks. I was just thinking to make coffee, but it's a little early. I better get ready to switch over to hot drinks first. Okay, now I'm ready to take it. The program loaded heat data into himself. Ooh, 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 this is way too hot. Ow, it's hot, but if I can use it to make delicious coffee, that's great. The pain is worth it. We're done, Mr. Match. Well done, now for the next one. I thought you said that was the last one. You mean there's more? Don't talk like that, this is the last one. Next is your Pops Research Lab. Hurry along now. Sounds suspicious. Aw, oh, man. It's not my fault, Dad. The the creepy man who said he worked here and and offered me no credentials said to do it. Here's the last one. Take it to the program of the computer and install it into him. I got flam data. Because I can't spell flame because flame is a hard word to spell. Where are you at, program? We gotta load some flam data into you. Oh yeah, I can just stand here and shoot him. Now where's that program for some flam data? Oh, hello there. What could you possibly want at such a busy time? I'm too tired to speak to anyone. What? You're giving me this data? I'm not scheduled to do this, but the data looks hot as fire. If I load this into myself, maybe it'll ease the fatigue just like a nice hot bath. Because that's what programs take, are nice hot baths. Okay, I'll load it and see. Here we go. The program loaded flam data into itself. Ouch, it's hot, but it works. This heat can melt away any fatigue. Ah. All right, we're all done. Fantastic. That's the last of them. You've been great. I feel like he could have done that if he really wanted to, but he probably wanted to frame me and make me feel bad later, I bet. Look, here's a little something for all your effort. Mr. Match took out a chip for Lava Stage. I don't need any payment. This makes us even. I'm not out to put you in my debt again, Lan. This is just my way of saying thank you. Wait, you're too good for my thanks now? N no that's not what I meant. Oh, alright, I'll take it. Lan got a chip for Lava Stage. Alright, we're leaving now. Thanks a lot, Lan. I have one more thing to do here, so I'll see you later. Heh, heh, heh. Heh, heh, heh. Now that he's out of earshot, now then time to begin. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. Totally not evil at all. So is it is it sleep time? Yep, yep, time to go to bed. Because Lance had a long day today. Too long, in fact. He's probably past his bedtime already. It's like a six hour day rather than a two hour day today. By the time Land got home, the Scilab was in serious trouble. Well, hello there, I'm a Bishop's man. Don't you think it's unusually hot today? Is the air conditioner broken? Glug, 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 glug. One, uh. Glug, glug, bump, 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 glug, 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 glug. Maybe it's broken? Ouch, this vending machine's burning hot! I'll just jack in and see what's going on. Be careful. Fire! Someone help! The vending machine's shooting fire out! I don't even think that's quite possible! Ah, uh, it's boiling in here! What happened? <laughs> Hurry, evacuate! For some reason, the computer suddenly started smoking. The heat from the computer got into the air duct, heating the entire building. If the temperature continues to rise, the computer may explode. Hurry, evacuate the building. See, kids, this is why you buy liquid cooling. The computer may explode from the heat? This isn't happening. What can we do? Nothing. We can't even get near the computer, let alone Jack into it. Oh no, if we don't do something quick, Scilab will be destroyed. This is why you have, you know, emergency fire sprinklers. <sighs> Dr. Ikari, it's no use. Let's get out of here. The room temperature is over 120 degrees. I'm assuming Fahrenheit. <laughs> the computer's about to spit flame. Otherwise, they would die. There's evidence that some data has been altered. What the? This is no mere computer malfunction. Someone has actually sabotaged the system. And it looks like my son did it. You mean this wasn't an accident? No, this was a calculated assault. Hurry, run to safety. But what about you, Dr. Akari? I've got to retrieve the backup data. If the Scilab system is destroyed, all of Electopia will be in chaos. I must do whatever I can to prevent that. You'd think they would have tighter control if that would actually bring the entire Electopia to chaos. Like, tighter control on their building. You know, security guards and whatnot. Leave this to me. You, hurry out. What are you doing? I'm not leaving you. I'm a scientist, too. I'm ready to give my life to protect Scilab. Thank you. Now the question is, can we last as long as it takes to get the backup data? Oof, oof. Dr. Ikari, we'll help out too. The more there are, the faster we can finish. You guys. Alright, let's hurry up and get that data. Lan, you got mail. Hmm, an emergency news flash? Oh no, Lan! What? Is something wrong? Just kidding, nothing's wrong. Th this mail, it says... A fire has just occurred at Scilab. At present, the fire is localized, but the internal temperature is at 160 degrees and rising. Ten scientists have been hospital. I'm pretty sure the human body can't be at 160 degrees and survive that long. No, this has got to be some kind of mistake. Dad! Mega Man, we've got to get over to Scilab. Right. All right, and we will do that next time. Saving really quick. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll answer burning questions like, did Land catch the place on fire? Is he a bad person? Is he not the hero of ACDC? Thanks for watching. Bye.